Hey there you guys, welcome back. Uh, as you can see, I'm starting to bring some of the plants inside, well, starting. Uh, the majority of the plants are inside, I've got a few more bigger pots to bring in, um, and uh, hopefully that will come in today. So the video is not about these guys back here, I just wanted to give a little bit of an update on the Spider Farmer uh, grow light that I received, and uh, things are doing well under there. Well, most things are doing well under there. Uh, the plants I brought in, um, it was getting cold outside, so I think some of them are going into dormancy. But anyway, enough talking about it. Let's go see what's happening. Okay, so here is the Spider Farmer light. Um, again, this is a smaller model. Uh, the, the model number is going to be in the, um, the title of the video. I can't remember what it is at this moment. My mind is, is drawing a blank, but it's a smaller version, uh, the smaller one that they have. Uh, and it's uh, throwing a lot of light. This Abutilon is doing amazing. I was trying to get it to bloom all summer. Um, and it wouldn't bloom, and uh, I bring it inside, and not even two weeks after I brought it in, it started to produce a bud, and now we're three weeks in, and the bud is opening up, and it is a pretty, a pretty yellow, like a buttery yellow. So, uh, so excited that it's starting to, uh, to bloom. I'm going to have to raise this light up, because it's starting to discolor the, the leaves. Uh, I think that they're getting too much light. So I'll raise this up uh, in a minute, and um, the other thing that I have planted under here, or growing under here, is the cinnamon tree. Uh, so this didn't have any new growth coming in when I brought it in this, uh, this fall, and uh, pretty well immediately after bringing it under the, uh, the spider farmer light. Uh, actually, let me raise this up, I'll show you how easy this is. They've got the, uh, the pulleys here. Raising it up, all you need to do is pull the cord. Oh, there we go, and it just uh, it raises it up. I'm trying to make them a little bit level. There we go. I'll have to pull this uh, power cord a little bit more taut uh, up near the top, uh, just so that it's not hanging down like that. Um, but as you can see, the the cinnamon. Uh, this is, I don't know. It's been in the house for about three weeks four weeks and uh, and it's doing amazing. I love the new growth. The The leaves are, are looking spectacular. They always have this nice bronzy color when they when they first start to grow and then they go, turn into this green. So last year when I brought it inside I didn't get really any new growth and the new growth that I got was, um, was a lot smaller. So it could be from repotting but I repotted this in the early early spring so it's not because I, I repotted it just recently. So I believe that this is actually from the light. The temperature down here is about 26 degrees Celsius and the humidity is around uh, 55 to 65. Uh, so it's not overly humid down here but it's not uh, it's certainly not dry. Oh down here I see that there's another uh, bud starting for the butylon, and over here uh, there's where did I see them? There was more buds starting uh, right here. There's another bud starting in this little group here. So once they start blooming, they uh, they really keep going. They're they're in the hibiscus family, so every every new leaf really uh, should get a new flower. Over here, I was hoping to have this crinum uh, grow through the winter. I wanted to size it up, but naturally they want to go dormant in the winter time. Um, usually they have a dry dormancy. Um, but uh, as you can see, it is doing it on its own, so I'm just going to remove those leaves just so that there's no insect infestations happening in the, the dried up leaves. And underneath, I'm just going to keep the pot here, but keep it on the dry side. Um, I have some, some euphorbia, um, oh, what are they, something jewel, I can't remember, they're seeds, they're little offsets, not offsets, little uh, self-seeding volunteers, that's the word I'm looking for. And it looks like I've already got spider mites happening, um, which is really, really odd. Usually I have a few weeks of, uh, of no, no problems, but uh, immediately I, I seem to be having a problem. I, I've actually placed an order for some, uh, some beneficial mites that, uh, that go into the soil, and, and they will uh, eat the larva and, uh, and help control. It's more for fungus gnats, but supposedly uh, they deal with a lot of the other... Uh, pests as well. Spider mites, thrips, um, uh, fungus gnats, uh, all of those things. So I, I've got some yellow sticky cards to get the uh, the flying insects and I, I'm getting the uh, the soil control 
and uh, hopefully we'll see what what happens. So I'll probably do a a, a review when I when I well not really review, but I'm going to put them in the soil or on the soil, and uh, we'll probably do that together. I think it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Um, I'm tired of spraying every week. I don't like doing that, uh, but obviously you'll have to do what you have to do. So anyway, uh, this uh, bougainvillea, bougainvillea, this is the bougainvillea surprise. Um, it's doing pretty good. Uh, it's grown beautifully over the summertime. I was thinking about just having it go dormant, dropping all of its leaves, but uh, I might, I might like to to have it grow through. So I put it under the light, and we'll see what happens. And uh, things are going to move around as the season progresses. Things that maybe need more light, I'll put them under here. Uh, things that don't need light anymore, like potentially the crinum, will get moved out and uh, give something else a chance to, to, to flourish. So anyway, this is the update on the light so far. It's doing really, really well. Again, it's only been about three weeks, maybe four weeks, and the plants are really responding well. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this update. Uh, I will post a link in the, the description down below for this light, the Amazon link, and uh, I'll do it both for the Amazon.com and Amazon.ca, because uh, those are the, the most common uh, uh, sources. Yeah, if you like what you're seeing, feel free to test it out, uh, or even just read some more specs on it. Uh, and also, uh, I'll have a card up above. I'm going to do a playlist for all of these uh, these. Uh, videos on this particular light so you can watch the progress of, of anything that I have growing under there. So anyway, until next time you guys, show me what you're growing, and until next time, happy growing.